Perry Air, and Brad Sound Company in Darwin and Northern Territory. Today, we're in the Philadelphia Indonesian United Church in Kurama and the suburbs of Darwin. The small church holds around 100, 110 people. Now, Brad Sound Company has installed and looks after the audio equipment in this church. We come to rehearsals every Saturday and we look after the audio for the Sunday services. So why don't we take a little tour of this church and we'll show you how we've got everything set up and how we operate. Let's have a look. Okay, so first of all we'll have a look how we got the microphone set up. Everything of course numbered from stage right or from the left from the point of view of the front of house engineer. So over here at the table for Holy Communion, little shotgun, Audio Technica Pro 30. Very, very sensitive little uh, condenser. Great for the spoken word. Now we go over and have a look at the pulpit. For the pastor, this is the clock audio mini shotgun. Very, very nice microphone. Very, very good for reproducing the spoken word. And very flexible. Very, very nice microphone. Uh, being an Indonesian church, we also use a translator to translate the sermons into English. And here we use an AKG 1000. Very nice microphone again, especially for the spoken word. Very nice mic. And primarily the services, apart from the spoken word, obviously, there's a lot of singing. A lot of music and a lot of singing. So for our song leader, wireless microphone, Shure SM58. Very nice microphone, rock solid, good sound. At most church services, there'll be four or five singers, and they have a choice of microphones. Some of the ladies prefer the AKG Ellie. Very nice microphone for the ladies, actually suited to the female voice. They can also use, if they prefer, Shure's flagship condenser, my favourite microphone, and very, very, very nice. This is the Shure KSM9. Often some of the guys like this, and the women tend to like the AKGs. And of course, for the singers to do their best job, they need to clearly hear their vocals and to hear the music. So of course we have monitor speakers. Down here we've got PV12Ms, an entry level monitor, but with a quick EQ, quite a nice little unit. Certainly good enough for what we need here. The first monitor here looks after the vocals for singers one and two. Over here, the same item, looking after the vocals for singers three and four. Get around here now to the keyboard. We have PV KV5 keyboard amplifier. Very, very nice unit there, certainly throws enough sound over to the singers. And for visiting guitarists, we have uh, DI boxes ready, or if required, beautiful tube preamps. Very, very nice for any instrument. Okay, apart from our regular choir singers, we often have visiting vocal groups, vocal groups from the church, solo performers. We never know who's going to be up on stage, so we have plenty of microphones to spare. Everybody's favourite, Shure SM58. We have plenty of these, so whoever comes on the stage, we're not caught by surprise. Okay, so let's have a look now at the loudspeaker system in this little church. Now all the loudspeakers we have here are from Peavy. They're pretty good quality and they're affordable. And with the right amount of EQ, they sound pretty good. But no matter what loudspeaker you have in an indoor environment, the most important thing is aiming the loudspeakers correctly so that the sound goes directly to the listener. 
So let's have a look at the main speakers over here, the PV115, and we'll show you exactly how we do this. Now you'll see the centre line of the speakers, it's tilted down at an angle of around 15 degrees. Well that points the centre line of the speaker nearly at the back of the hall. Now the reason we're doing this is to get the sound directly to the, the audience, but also by having the speaker up and off axis, the people at the front are not bombarded with excess volume and the people at the back can hear very, very well. Now as you can see, this loudspeaker is also turned away from the wall and pointed inwards towards the centre of the church at about 15 degrees. Now the, the horn up here has been rotated so we now have 40 degrees in the vertical dispersion and 60 degrees on the horizontal. It's given a good coverage to this side of the church. Now one of the most important things in church is the spoken word. Obviously you've got sermons and other people speaking from the pulpit. And it's very, very important that the audience or the congregation hears the sound of the speaker coming from the direction of the person talking, not from the sides. When the sound comes from the sides, it's distracting. For a sermon to be very, very effective, the sound must come from the direction of the speaker. We'll show you how we do this with PV's SSSE Sanctuary Series speakers. These are the SS26s. Very, very nice loudspeaker. You see how we have them displayed again at 15 degrees down and 15 degrees in. One loudspeaker for each side of the church. Now one feature of the SSE speakers is not only good for above 100 hertz, they're for the spoken word. They're not very really good for music with bass like the keyboard. So what we've had to do is we keep the PV speakers over here primarily to play the bass notes of the keyboard. What we also found out was that if we start putting singers also into the PV115 and we put singers into the SSEs, we actually had a very nice stereo effect. We had a stereo on this side of the church and if you come over here we have left and right speakers again a very, very nice stereo effect on this side of the church. We had originally intended to remove the PV speakers on the side and replace them with subwoofers. But by sheer chance, or good management, this is a very, very effective dual stereo system. Now, it's all very well having nice equipment, nice amplifiers, nice loudspeakers, nice microphones, but in a room like this, you've got tile floor, you've got glass everywhere, you've got brick walls, you've got hard ceiling, you have a lot of reflective surfaces and a lot of reverberation. Very bright room, you might say. Not very good for audio. So what have we done to tackle this? Is at each end of the room, we've put a lot of sound absorbing equipment to stop the sound bouncing around from the stage and bouncing around from the back of the church. So we'll show you how we've done this. Primarily over the past, this microphone area, you see up in the ceiling, we have specially made panels of fiberglass insulation, and that helps prevent feedback from the pastor's mic. Now all around the stage, we have these beautiful Indonesian curtains. Underneath, a nice white curtain. But behind the white curtain, we have several layers of geotextile fabric. Very good for sound absorbing. Between those layers, we have a 50 millimeter acoustic foam. And behind the acoustic foam again, we have, believe it or not, egg cartons. And this is very, very effective for damping the sound. So let's go down and have a look at the back of the church now and see what we've done. Okay, we're at the back of the church now. Again, behind this nice cloth, have some homemade acoustic panels. We're using acoustic foam. That's sandwiched between panels made out of old carpet, blankets, 
whatever we can find, steel framed, covered with some nice cloth from Indonesia. It's very, very effective. Most important that we stop the sound from the loudspeakers hitting the back wall and reflecting back to the congregation and more importantly reflecting back to the stage. If we can stop the first reflections, the main reflections off the back wall, we go a long way to taming the acoustics and making, helping to make this church audio almost feedback free. Okay, now we'll have a look at the amplifiers under the desk here. One amplifier only, it's a four channel PB CS400 by four. That puts out 180 watts per channel, which is more than enough for this smaller church. As you'll see, the attenuators are set differently. These two here for the monitor speakers up on the stage. For the big PV15s on the side, they're turned well down. And over here for the center PVSSEs. Up here for the monitors, graphic equalizers, 31 band, one each for each set of monitors. And of course the, uh, for the mains, all the EQs looked after from the desk. Okay, the control desk, very important obviously in any audio system. And again we've chosen PV equipment. This is a 24FX, 24 channel inputs, very very nice basic mixer, does everything we need to do, has a digital processor with all sorts of effects, reverberations, delays, compressors, anything, we, any, any sort of effect we need, it's got uh, built-in equalizers, as you see the parametric equalizer there, that's the house curve we use, and it's a very very useful tool. Over here we do our recording, create a sound card for the laptop, and everything's played through JR stereo line driver to give us best quality from the laptop. So uh, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of our little church and hopefully we'll have some singers here real shortly and we'll play a little bit of music for you. Bye for now.